Hey guys, welcome to my video. I am currently about eight months, almost nine months into having immediate dentures. I am about a month away right now from having my permanent hard read line done on my current dentures. So I just wanted to make this video because I had some comments and they don't bother me, but I just wanted to put this out there that just because your teeth don't look the greatest is not always the reason why people have dentures done. And I had some comments that I just wanted to address. One said they looked okay or they're functional. And hey, your teeth weren't that bad. But I have to say my teeth were pretty bad. I mean, not as bad as some, but they were bad. I mean, when I was in pain 24 seven for years and fixing my teeth needed so much work, it was just impossible to do. Just adding this quick clip in, I was rambling on so much going back and forth, but I thought I'd never mention how much my teeth would have cost to fix. And I know with what I would needed done, I would have needed an upper and lower partial and major teeth repair. And I know it would have cost well over $10,000. And that's an insane amount of money. And it just wasn't something that I could have done. I would have been fighting to fix my teeth, fighting to pay these bills and get everything done for years. And I would have still been dealing with the pain as I slowly fix everything because I needed so much work done, it would have just took forever and so much money to get it all done. So I went the route that I did, 1400 out of the pocket, and I was done with, and it's been an amazing decision. So basically, I had the front tooth that had a big chip missing out of it. Part of it broke apart. The tooth was weakened. It was really, like, not soft, but brittle and that big chunk of tooth just popped off. Besides that, the inside of it was rotten and that tooth had had two previous root canals done on it. So it was beyond repair and that really gave me a lot of pain. It was difficult to bite in the front. So besides my front tooth that was in bad condition, I had multiple molars missing from just very bad wear and needing so much work that it was beyond a reasonable price that I could afford at the time. So chewing was a little difficult because I would have like two on the top on this side molars, one in the middle. And so it was a little off. And then on the other side, it was sort of the same thing. I was missing the one up top, but one at the bottom. And both of my bottom back molars had a chunk of the tooth broken off. Just exposed root, bone, whatever you want to call it, that was giving me pain. So eating stuff that was cold, like ice cream, or drinking a cold soda, that would give me a lot of pain. And that was very frustrating to have to, to be careful what you eat. When I went to my dentist and got evaluation to have dentures done, not one tooth was in decent condition. They tried talking me into a bottom partial, which I could have possibly done, but my front four bottom teeth were possibly savable, but they needed a $900 more in repairs besides the $1,400 I would have paid already. And bad teeth run in my mom and dad's family. So I don't know how much longer I would have got out of them. And yeah, I could have got another five, maybe 10 years out of them in fighting with the teeth and dealing with the issues, but I was just ready to be done with them. I was ready to be over and move on with that part of my life. And I don't regret it one bit. I mean, to be eight, nine months into this now, and not have any pain at all is amazing. So if you're dealing with pain and you're getting this done, just remember you're gonna deal with some struggles, some pain and difficulties during the extraction pro process 
in recovering for the first few weeks, month, whatever. It's going to be frustrating, hard to talk and chew and dealing with your denture staying in place, but to be pain-free. And I'll go and I'll see on Facebook one of my cousins or someone say, oh man, I've had this horrible tooth pain. And I feel for them, but I'm happy where I'm at. I'm just very happy. And I appreciate all the positive comments. And one person said, why get your teeth done? You should have saved the bottom and had the partial because the bottom denture is so difficult to stay in. And it's not. So once you have a soft reline done, your bottom denture stays in place fairly well. And if you do my method of using a little bit of adhesive, it will hold and last most of the day. So I use the fix it in ultra max hold. I take it on my bottom denture. I put three pea sized drops on my denture, one on each side in the back, one in the middle, take a Q-tip, smooth it out. And I put it in at six o'clock in the morning and I don't take my dentures out till 9 p.m. usually. And it does not budge at all. It stays in place, no movement, no reapplying adhesive, and it just stays. So I think some people are having issues because they're ill-fitting or they're not using the correct adhesive or using too much or too little. But once you have the right amount of adhesive and a good fitting denture, they hold great and I eat anything I want. But like I said, I don't regret any of it. I, I am happy with the look and the feel and everything. Some things are a little different to get used to at first, but I feel pretty normal now. But yeah, before my teeth might have looked okay, but just because they look okay doesn't mean that's okay. You might see a car and it might look gorgeous and like, oh, that's an amazing car, I want it. But what if it has transmission problems? What if it has engine problems? It might look good on the outside, but doesn't mean the inside's okay. And the inside of my teeth, what you couldn't see was not okay. If the only problem with getting my teeth fixed was the crookedness and the yellowness of my teeth, I would have fixed it. Why would I have my teeth pulled and do all that just to have straighter and whiter teeth? Like, yeah that made me self-conscious but I would have never done that whole process and the dentist would have never done it either but my teeth weren't just about looks and my wife even mentioned a week ago saying oh I want to get dentures I'm like why because my teeth aren't straight <laughs> and I just kind of chuckled I'm like they're not going to give you dentures you don't just get dentures because your teeth are not straight you get dentures because your teeth are in very bad condition and it might be affecting your health. And so I told her, no, if you want your teeth to be straight, white, whatever, you just get it done. Get Invisalign, whatever braces and get it taken care of because the straightness and the whiter teeth is never the main reason why you would get dentures and I think most people wouldn't know that but there's some people that just see the picture of my teeth which I'll put it right here they see a picture of my teeth and say those don't look bad but they were overall I do thank you for watching this video I always say I try not to ramble on but I ramble on but I just want to go through things. Like I said, I appreciate everyone's positive comments. I get tons of them. I'm very happy with responding to your uh, questions and I appreciate your comments on how great my teeth look and how I'm doing. I'm very happy with everything. And so leave any questions or comments below. I do appreciate you watching. I'm going to be putting out another video probably next month about getting my permanent hard read line done, uh, the process, and it's just saying how my dentures fit and feel after the hard read line is done. But thank you for watching. I hope everyone has an amazing day. Uh, see you guys later.